Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 107. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Um, I got some finished objects to share with you this week and a couple whips, and also have the giveaway winner that I was supposed to draw last week and I forgot. I will draw that this week. And then I also have some bags to show you that are, are going to be up in the shop today, the same day that this video comes out. And I got a new pattern that I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to get typed up the rest of the way uh, today or tomorrow and get it out on my shop also. And I don't know. I think that's about everything. <laughs> I do have laundry going in the background because I'm, I got to do a lot of cleaning and stuff today. So you might hear that, but um, I can't really help that because I have to do laundry. <laughs> but anyways, let's get on into my finished objects. Um, I actually have two of these, but I don't know where the other one is. It's probably already in my bag. But I did finish two more daffodils. This one's not woven in. <laughs> but I made an orange and white one. And then I made another one. I think it was yellow and orange. So I did make two of them and then I started another one. And I just gotta weave this in. Uh, that festival's coming up pretty soon so I need to get some more done. It's in, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And that's a free pattern by Miss Nist Designs. And it'll be linked below her written pattern. And I also made a tutorial of it with her permission. And it's on my channel. And I'll try to remember to link that below if I can uh, remember. <laughs> but it is on the channel if you want to check it out. Alright, I have three more finished objects. And they're all hats. And this is my own pattern. Um, they're blue. <laughs> Different shades of blue. They're all made with the same ball of Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And the color is Scuba. I actually looked it up <laughs> this time. So I made these three hats with it and uh, also made a tutorial for this hat pattern if you're interested. Let's see that. It's a snugger fit beanie, which is the kind I prefer actually. And it has a brim on it. I don't know, I liked it. I just wanted to whip up something for the hat not hate video that I was making. And then I just made the tutorial for it because, you know, I want to try to start making more tutorials. But, um, so if you're interested in that, that'll be checked, or that'll be linked below. And if you don't want a video tutorial of it, in the description of the video tutorial, there is the written out, uh, pattern. And then you can also go over to the Facebook group. And there's a PDF over there for free in the files section of the Facebook group that I, I made and put on there. So, options. <laughs> but yeah, so they're just basic double crochet beanie with a single crochet border and it's, I started it with a magic ring but you can use uh, the chain method whichever you prefer really simple and quick and works up really fast and I like it and I've got some other good feedback from it so I'm happy with it <laughs> but I did make three of those for the hat not hate thing and I'm, I'm sure between now and August I will make some more uh, hats to donate to that that's all my finished objects and I do have uh, you know the one whip is the other daffodil <laughs> And then I had another whip, and it's just the um, poncho. I worked on it a little bit. I didn't work on the swimsuit cover-up at all this week. Just been busy and uh, working on other things. And then I did work on the poncho <laughs> a little bit. This is it so far. Let's see here. Let me find it. Where's my other stitch marker? There should be another one in here. It's in orange somewhere. I guess I didn't put it on there. When I last showed it to you, I just started this orange sh section, so I only did, <laughs> like, two more rows. This is my beginning of the row stitch marker. I thought I put another one on there, but I don't see it. Ah, here it is. The teapot. <laughs> That's where I was last time. So I, I literally only added, like, two rows. Get back over there. But it's okay. There's no rush. I'm just making this just because, so, uh, it doesn't matter. But I've just been working on other things, and actually this and the the um, swimsuit cover-up may not get worked on at all uh, in, in a while. <laughs> um, that pattern is a free video tutorial, and it was made by... It's called the Easy to Crochet Poncho, and it's the YouTube channel is called All Crafts Channel, and uh, it's... It's free. I don't said that. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be working on that or the swimsuit cover up for a while because I I want to start working on fair projects for my county fair that's coming up this uh, September, August, <laughs> into August, early September. And also I, I have a craft fair that I'm doing again. The one I did last year, I'm going to do it again this year. This year it's on October 10th. So I have a few months to prep for that. And I'm going by my feedback that I got last year at the craft fair. So I know what to make. I'm going to be making a lot of amigurumi farm animals because I got asked that a lot last year. I want to make some uh, 
unicorns and some monkeys and I'm getting messages <laughs> and um, I don't know there's some other things just uh, last year I took a lot of Halloween stuff and like none of it sold a couple of them did but not as much as I thought so people weren't really in a Halloween mood even though it was really close to Halloween they they were wanting other things so I'm gonna try to start working on that kind of stuff now so I can stockpile it up for um, this year's craft fair but yeah so that's all the crochet I've done this week other than uh, you know I did work on the hats a lot because I was making a tutorial for it I made one hat and then I made another one to make sure I wrote it all down right and then I made another one for the video tutorial so that's why I have three so I do want to show you a pattern that I made that I'm gonna be writing up I got it mostly written up I do have to make a little bit more of it like a swatch to take pictures of how to sew the appliques on and how to stitch on the little grass and uh, then I can just pull it all together and write it up and get it in the Etsy shop but this is another one of my bucket bags and I made an Easter themed one so here it is <laughs> It's got a little bunny with a pom-pom tail and an Easter basket and then on the around it it's got Easter eggs with grass around it <laughs> so I do like I said I have this all written up I just have to make like a swatch of the blue and pieces so that I can take pictures of me sewing them on because I didn't do it when I made this first bag which I should have done but I just need to take photos of how to sew appliques on and how to stitch the little grass pieces and then this pattern will be up in the shop so I think it's cute. Jesse likes it. He's already been playing with it a lot and I think it'd be cute to gift uh, a kid or anybody some Easter gifts in, some little eggs with chocolates and stuff in it. I think that'd be cute. So I think it's cute. I hope you guys do too. <laughs> but that's my pattern. So yeah. And I'm also going to show you guys uh, bags that I got that uh, when you watch this video they'll be in the Etsy shop. And then I'm going to show some Happy Mail that I got. Alright. I'm actually going to show my Happy Mail first <laughs> and then I'll show you the bags. Push them over there. That's my bag of bags. I didn't get quite a bit of Happy Mail. I just haven't had the time to show it. So this one I actually got today. This is a card. Let me make sure. Okay, this. Where's the letter? There it is. This is from Summer, and she lives in Kentucky. So she sent me and Devin and Jesse a um, St. Patrick's Day card. It's like foil. <laughs> and she also sent Jesse some stickers. They're Mickey Mouse. And. She said these ones, these ones are mine. <laughs> They're uh, hearts that are tie-dye. So thank you, Summer, for that. And uh, your letter was super sweet. And it almost made me cry when I was reading it. <laughs> um, it's just, it's nice to see that me make, you know, taking the time to make my videos actually helps other people. So it's, it's good to see happy mail like that. <laughs> and then this card came, let me see here. When did this come? Last week sometime, March 7th. And it is from Winnie in North Carolina. This is a really cool looking card. I don't know if it's going to show very well. It looks really cool though. I don't know if it's like watercolory or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's just cute. Thank you Winnie for that. Let me see here. I did also get that goes to something else. I got a card from Seta. <laughs> I've seen that she's been sending these out to a lot of people and it's got a little note on the back of it. So thank you Seta for that. And then this all came together. And then I got one more thing. I gotta show you. Okay. So this next Happy Mail came from Luma. And this all came together. <laughs> it's a lot. But anyways, this is the card that was in the package that she sent. Put it over there. And then she sent me this book, which is awesome. It's a crochet amigurumi book. And it's got spirit animals. And it's got a cardinal, which I'm definitely going to make. I love cardinals. And I'll probably also make the eagle because I'm super patriotic <laughs> like that. And it's got some different vari variations right here. That you can make the eagle into a hawk or a... What's that other word? Falcon. And then you can also make the lions into a tiger or a panther. So that's a really cool book. I'm, I can't wait to make some of those cardinals. I think it would be pretty to make some of those for a Christmas wreath. She also sent me this beautiful doily. Can't hold it up. <laughs> super beautiful I love it I love doilies and uh, I'll probably never make any because they're so intricate and I don't like using little um, threads and yarns so I will definitely put this somewhere that Jesse can't stain it <laughs> but I want it to be somewhere where I can see it so I gotta find a good place for this it is white so I want to really be careful where I put it and then in the package was this box and in this box is a whole bunch of fat quarters <laughs> There's the kind um, that are rolled up, you know, 
There's just all kinds of different prints. I'm trying to get something out to show you. Just different prints and shapes and stuff. So this is really cool. I should be able to make some bags out of these. Um, and there's actually another a new bag pattern that I'm gonna practice whenever I get the chance to. I just haven't had the chance to randomly so that I'm probably gonna use some of these to make some of those bags with. And hopefully I can do that in the next few weeks and show them to you guys to see if anyone will be interested in buying that type of bag. So that's really cool. I like this box too. I want to reuse this box. <laughs> but thank you so much Luma for that. And I did get one more Happy Mail. And I'm not going to say who it's from because I don't know if she would want me to say that. But um, I was struggling the last few weeks with parenting issues on top of personal life issues. And she seen that and she wanted to help me. So she, she ended up sending me a bouquet of flowers, which is cool that she actually ordered it from my local florist. <laughs> so I guess she called, you know, she knows where I live. So she called the local florist and ordered it and had it sent to my mom's house because we don't get mail at our apartment because it's shady. <laughs> I've had stuff getting stolen off of our front stoop. One of my knit crates did actually, the December one. Not last, the year before last year, 2018 December one got stolen. And that was the month that they put them in really pretty, like, Christmassy bags. And I think that's why I got stolen. Someone probably thought it was a gift and didn't realize it was just fun. <laughs> but, um, anyways, back to what I was saying. She sent me a really sweet note. She also sent Jesse a little monkey, you know, from the flower shop. I guess she asked him if they had any toys or something. So it was, a, like, a stuffed animal monkey. Stuffed animal monkey. But, uh, I don't have no idea where it's at. In the bedroom somewhere. <laughs> but I'm going to get the flowers to show you. Alright, here's the flowers. They are beautimous. Beautimous, beautimous, beautimous. I don't know what this thing is. It's called. And I don't know what these are. I think these are foxgloves, but I'm not sure. I don't know what this purple thing is. <laughs> but uh, it's got carnations, which are one of my favorite flowers. And I'm not sure if these are called daisies, but I know these ones are. I don't know if this is a uh, different like variety. And roses. And it's so pretty. Yeah. The monkey was attached to the vase <laughs> but Jesse's running off with it I have no idea where it's at but I'm so appreciative of this and it definitely brightened up my day I love having fresh flowers in the house normally I buy them for myself Devin rarely buys them for me I'm hinting all the time for him to buy me flowers and he always forgets but I usually buy myself flowers <laughs> so it's really nice to have someone think of me and send me uh, flowers and uh, I told Devin I was like for my birthday you need to remember to send me one of those edible bouquets <laughs> It's like one thing I want for him for my birthday is a bouquet that I can eat. <laughs> but um, it's beautiful. I love it so much. I actually had to put some more water in earlier because they had drinking almost all of it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's all the Happy Mail I've gotten in the last few weeks. I think I showed everything else because uh, I had this all piled up. That's why it was all still together is I had it piled up somewhere so I could show it today. And um, so now I can hang my cards up and put the fat quarters up and put my book with my other books and all that stuff get it all really nice all right so now i'm going to show you guys the bags that are going up in the shop there's actually some back there i'm not done with i gotta put the drawstrings in them <laughs> but i'm done with one of each of them so i can take a picture of them and i'll finish up those drawstrings later so let's get to it to it all right so there are going to be two of these monkey sets prints it's a white background with cute little monkey faces and they do come with Notion pouches. Oh gosh, it's just kind of all piled in here. Da -da -da monkeys. And there's going to be two of this set. Oh, there's just a cute print. Because it's like chickens and roosters and it says farm fresh eggs and stuff like that. I just thought that's cute. So there's going to be two of those with Notion pouches. And then this really cute springy ladybug set. The ladybugs have glitter on them. But it's the stuck on glitter, so it's the kind that comes off. There's going to be four of these, because this is the yard. I bought a yard of this, but whoever cut it cut two yards. <laughs> so there's going to be four sets of those with notion pouches. And there's this really beautiful print. And there's a string on there. i got to cut that off. It's sunflowers, but it's got songbirds on it. And there's going to be two of those with notion pouches. You can probably hear birds tweeting outside right now. They're on my bird feeders. <laughs> I got the window open because it feels good. And there's one of this, and it's just the bag. It doesn't have a notion pouch. But it's really not how I need it. <laughs> it's got my favorite thing in the world on there, which is cinnamon rolls. I love cinnamon rolls. And then there's these beautiful horse print. 
A couple of people have asked for horse prints before. There would be two of these with notion pouches. Got a horse on there. Trying to get all these back out. I should have done this before I started filming, but oh well. Alright, and then this print, there will be four of these. There'll be four of these sunflower sets, and they are sets there with the notion pouches. And then there will be two Mickey Mouse sets <laughs> with notion pouches. There will be two Sugar Skull sets with notion pouches. There will be <laughs> where's the notion pouch? Two not remember for Christmas sets with the notion pouches. There will be two space sets. This is a glittery too. Oh, you can't you can kinda see it. <laughs> with notion pouches. Then there will be two of these crazy chicken prints. <laughs> I love this. And the insides is crazy too. <laughs> Two sets of these with notion pouches. And then lastly, there's gonna be one of these. It's smaller. This is just a scrap piece of yarn I had or oh <laughs> fabric. So it is smaller. I'll measure it and put it on the listing than my normal bags. My normal bags. So well, it's just a little bit smaller than normally. And it doesn't have a notion pouch. It's just this bag by itself. And those are all gonna be going up in the shop. They'll be there by the time you see this video. So now I gotta pick all these up and put them up. I gotta finish up those ones back there just by putting the strings through them. And I'll do that here in a few minutes when I get done filming this. And then they'll all be in the shop and ready. And then like I said, this pattern will be in my Etsy shop maybe tomorrow, but probably it's Friday. <laughs> because I gotta take pictures and stuff still. Just of sewing on applications and um, applications appliques <laughs> and doing the little grass stitches and uh, then I'll edit that all together in a PDF and put it up there for sale if you're interested and I think that's everything to share with you guys this week I didn't have a lot of crochet because I was busy sewing but now that I'm done with the majority of the sewing I can uh, do some more crochet on some amigurumi because I haven't made anything like that in a while and I want to get some more stuff made for the craft fair that's coming up in October plus my county fair that's coming up in September but I did want to mention that I am planning on making a bunch of crab bags. The ones that you squeeze to open. I got one right here. I'll probably make them this size and some longer. And mark there. You squeeze them. There's like a metal fixture in there. And it pops open. That's what I'm talking about when I call them crab bags. I had a few people ask me what that meant. But I'm planning on making some of these. This next kind of week. So they'll be up in the Etsy shop in the next week or two. And uh, yeah. Yeah. This one's got my stitch markers in it, and I made a bunch for hooks and stuff. And, uh, so they'll be a little bit wider than this, like an inch wider, because the fixtures I have left are, these ones are four and a half inches, I think, and the ones I have left are five or five and a half inches. So they'll just be a little bit wider than these ones. But, yeah. So those will be going up eventually, <laughs> and I'll probably post a video and a post on the Facebook group when those do come up. So yeah, I think that's everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Share it if you think someone else will like it. Ring the bell to get notifications. Also, if you're interested in the life part of No Kitchen Name, I have another YouTube channel that is always linked in the description. And over there I show, share vlogs, um, recipes, and my weight loss journey and all kinds of stuff. I've lost 24 pounds <laughs> now. And I'm trying to lose some more. So hopefully I can... Uh, get that done but anyways yeah check out all the links in the dis di well, the description and check out my tutorials i've been putting out i put out the daffodil one and the hat one and check out the etsy shop and all that fun stuff join the facebook group and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys oh my gosh you guys i forgot to draw the winner <laughs> again but i did so the winner of the yarn of the three balls of lion brand heartland color that's green <laughs> that I showed like two weeks ago and I keep forgetting to draw the winner for the winner I will pop it up is Jenny Miller 
and uh, she used the secret word, which was mountain. I was planning on doing another giveaway, but I don't want to do it now. <laughs> I'll do it in the next video because uh, I'm distracted and I was already putting everything up. And I, then I was going to put up this yarn and I was like, oh man, this yarn is supposed to give away. But anyways, so Jeannie, email me. My email will pop up on the screen and I will send your yarn out to you.